Buses are the backbone of the transit system. New York City has 327 local select and express bus routes. Sitting in traffic is part of the ride. The exhaust from a diesel powered bus has an impact on air quality. Some new electric buses are ready to roll from the depot in Maspeth, Queens. It's definitely going to change the air quality across multiple depots, across multiple routes. The display on the front of the bus says charging, and this is how they power up the new electric buses. 60 new ones arrive this year, 200 next year. The new electric buses will be on routes in Queens, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. We want to look at those areas that are socially and economically disadvantaged and disadvantaged in terms of air quality. Queens residents have the longest commutes, so having to inhale that diesel, being on a bus for over an hour in some cases, is not good for your health. Queensboro President Donovan Richards wants to see more new buses on the road. To be able to have a fleet rolling through these neighborhoods to lessen pollution is a win for future generations, a win for the community in a big way. The depots have to be fitted with charging stations, and there has to be enough power to charge the electric buses. That's where Con Edison and New York Power Authority come in. Building the infrastructure, supplying the power is still an ongoing process. A bus depot goes from looking like a small warehouse to the electrical grid to looking like a skyscraper. So immense amounts of power need to come in to charge, say, 250 buses overnight. The first electric buses were ordered by the MTA in 2019. They want the entire fleet, that's almost 6,000 buses, to be fully electric by 2040.